See, most people are not accumulating wealth. Most people are living in poverty. Most people are living far below their potential. Not because they don't have the capacity, not because they have not been given authority and dominion over everything on the face of the earth, but most people are living like they're living because of the fact that they don't believe they can have any more than what they now have. In the book called Miseducation of the Negro, Dr. Carter G. Woodson said, if you can determine what a man shall think, you'll never have to concern yourself with what he will do. If you can make a man feel inferior, you never have to compel him to seek an inferior status, for he will seek it himself. And if you can make a man feel justly an outcast, you never have to order him to go to the back door. He'll go without being told. And if there's no door, his very nature will demand one. That's why scripture reminds us, be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So every day you have to sell yourself and get out of your mind those old thoughts, that old belief system. Every day you've got to sell yourself on that it's possible. That you got to put a new mind in you. You got to get out of your mind. You got to begin to restructure your thinking. Every day, you've got to begin to recondition your mind. See, let me share something with you. The easiest thing I've ever done was to earn a million dollars. The most difficult thing I've ever done was to believe it could happen to me. That was the most difficult part, to believe that given my circumstances, if my birth parents came down this aisle right now, I would not know either one if my daddy came up here or my mother came up here. Given the fact that I was born in an abandoned building on a floor, being labeled educable, mentally retarded, I remember going to see the late Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, the author of the book, The Power of Positive Thinking. And I used to look at him up on stage and I said, I could do that. I would love to talk to people. I love to talk to people. And I said, I can do that. But then when I started going back to my car, my mental conditioning activated itself. And it said, Les Brown, you can't do that. You don't have a college education. Les Brown, you can't do that. You don't have the training. You've never worked for a major corporation. You can't do that. What makes you think you can earn five, 10, 15, $20,000 in an hour? You don't earn that now working for two or three months. What makes you think that you can speak for AT&T, Procter & Gamble, McDonald's Corporation, General Electric? These are clients I have now. You've never even worked for them. How many have ever thought about something you wanted to do and you talk yourself out of it? Raise your hand if you know what I'm talking about. That inner conversation is what's going to haunt you after standing here and saying, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. After saying that again and again, we are more than conquerors. That inner conversation will cause you when you leave here to go back leading a life of mediocrity, leading a life of unproductivity, leading a life of poverty. So I'm gonna share with you how to break out of that. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're going through. Um, I, I'm not here to pretend that, uh, you know, I understand what you're going through or, or how you feel in your life. I think the biggest disability that we have as human beings is unbelief. Everything starts with a vision and the man without vision dies. hate the idea of potential being wasted in this world. You know how it is. If you didn't go what you've gone through, you wouldn't be who you are today. Is that as I kept trying new things, new doors kept opening. because you don't know what your future is. You just don't. You never know what's gonna happen. You never know what, what your future holds for you. Go for it, try it. Because another thing, I am no different than anyone else out there. I am not here to say I have a superpower and it was all this. It was just, try it, go. Let's see what happens. Patience, let's say. Don't complain when you're waiting in a line. You ain't going to grow in patience until you're put in a place to wait.
Though there are some times where you're going to wish that you could rewind and, and do things all over again. There are times where, where you just wish to forget memories, try to drown those memories in alcohol or different pleasures, and maybe get distracted by the goals and ambitions of your life, try to put the past behind them. Oh. 